What's going on, everybody? It's me, Working Man, and uh, this uh, took me by surprise because uh, I I didn't know anything about this, but uh, apparently uh, they added extra hairstyles to uh, Elden or Elden Ring. How awesome is that? I mean, I love it whenever they give you more customizable options. I mean, that one's kind of cool for like a male character. It almost has like a bit of a Super Saiyan kind of vibe to it. It's cool. Uh, you know, that one's pretty good for a chick or a dude, you know, it's kind of a samurai look. Um, that one, also good for a chick, very German looking. Um, but yeah, I like the pigtails, we're gonna try that. It's new. Um, okay, so, <coughs> excuse me, my, uh, voice is probably, you know, cracking a little bit, because, uh, I, uh, recorded so much Pokemon, like, I think I did, like, three hours of recording, like, I mean, it was non-stop. Uh, let's see. I don't know if they added in anything else new, like, um, is there, like, a different kind of pupil or anything, or, let's see, uh, let's go to cosmetics, maybe? No? Maybe tattoos? Hmm. I don't know. I never really did the tattoos, so I don't know if any of those are new. Skin features, uh, pores, skin luster, dark circles. Okay. Alright. Well, I like our character. I think she looks good. Um, let's see. Tell you what, let's, uh, save her to the favorites. Okay, let's see. Anyway, uh, so I decided to go with the, uh, Vagabond. Uh, I like the starting armor and the weapons and stuff. Very, you know, good, very good. Very nice. <laughs> Can't do the voice. Okay, uh, Golden Seed. Um, let's see. I think we will go with Stormfront. That's kind of our go-to character now for, uh, when I do recordings. Alrighty. And start. I'm just gonna skip the opening cinematic. We've seen it, everyone's seen it like a thousand times. But yeah, I don't know what it is about, uh, Elden Ring. Like, to me, like, the best part is always, like, the beginning of the game. Let's see if I take that halberd off. I don't want that. But yeah, um, I feel like, uh, you know, like, it's just, it's, I don't know. It's, I like the grassy area. It's very nice. It's not too difficult yet, you know. I mean, I don't mind the difficulty, but there are some times, like, when I just get really frustrated and I'll be like, Motherfucker! And just want to, like, smash some shit. Wee. But yeah, I am so glad they added in new hairstyles. I hope they'll keep doing that. Alright, you motherfucker, let's go. On guard! Oh, knocked me out of the air. Oh, broke my guard. Oh, fuck. Fuck you and your screen. Yeah. 
But yeah, I cannot wait for the DLC to this game. It's gonna be so badass. I mean, I don't know anything about the DLC. I just know that, you know, uh, what you call it, uh, they always deliver, you know, uh, from soft. There's only been, like, maybe one or two DLCs I didn't like, uh, in the Elden Ring, or not Elden Ring, but the Souls series. Like, uh, I felt like they were going, like, way too hard with, uh, the first DLC, uh, you know, with the Artorius of the Abyss. Like, I never beat that one because, like, you had Don't to, like, worry, have, Karen. like, a really high-level character, you know. And, uh, most of the time, I only we had, like, a, what you call it, like, a level... I don't know, I can't remember what my max level was. Maybe a hundred or something like that. It, it was pretty high, but uh, it still wasn't even enough, because like, I was getting one-shotted. One of her kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Oh, and then the DLC for uh, Dark Souls 2. Don't get me started on that. I mean, that Jesus H. Christ. The Golden Order. I mean, I had really good armor and really good weapons and magic and shit. But I was still getting destroyed in the DLC for Dark Souls 2. I mean, there's, like, there's a thing to, about these games is that, you know, you have to, like, make it sort of difficult, but not overly difficult, you know? Like, where you have to fucking... Or, well, not where, like, you can't beat it without, like, you know... It's hard to explain, like... Basically, you know, you shouldn't get one-shotted, even if you're a super high level. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe I play the, you know, maybe I play like, you know, what do you call it, uh... Like a, a casual or whatever, because I mean, when well, I guess when I think about it, there are a lot of people out there that you know they look for any way to abuse a video game, and I hate those people. Like, you know, like say uh, when they play what you call it, um, pretty much any kind of fighter, like they will do whatever they can to fucking like do a combo for you know, like almost half your health or more. And it's like, what the hell? I mean, why are we even playing this game if you know how to fucking get me in this, like, this stun lock where you're just gonna win automatically? I mean, fuck that. That's not fun. I mean, there were certain characters in Mortal Kombat 11 that were bad about that. But, uh, you know, for the most part, when I played Mortal Kombat 11, you could, you know, like, just fight someone and uh you know it would be pretty fair you know like but yeah there was a few characters like uh i think the blood chick garrus and uh maybe scorpion but yeah they had a few combos that really were just so fucking long that i mean there was like almost nothing you could do to get out of it Anyway, enough talking about that and whatever. Let's uh, play some Elden Ring. Tarnished, are we? Yes. Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without How dare you? Without the strength of runes and without an invitation. You are bitchless. Table hold. You are fate. Yeah, whatever. Fuck you. That's Luckily it. for you, however, there is one shining remedy. Vare. Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace? You may also behold its golden rays. Pointing in a particular direction at times, that is the guidance of grace. A path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm. Indeed, grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Okay. Very chipper fellow. Yeah.
All right. Let's see. What do we want to do first? I guess let's go to the church. Avoid the deathly knight on the fucking horse. It's crazy how, like, uh, if you fight the, you know, knight and then you try to hide in the church, he'll actually destroy parts of the church. I think the only part he can't destroy is this main part here. But yeah, he can, like, knock down these pillars and, uh, I think some of these walls, too. But yeah, I'm so glad that, you know, summer is almost over. It feels good knowing that fall is like right around the corner and it'll start cooling off and, you know, we won't have these fucking 104 degree days. I mean, we've had days like that have been like 111 with humidity. I mean, that is like ungodly weather. I mean, anyone who has to work construction in that, I mean, I feel real bad for you, man. I mean, seriously, I don't know how you do, how you do it. I mean... Granted, you know, like, if I was in better shape, I probably could do it, but, you know, I fucked up my back. I don't know if I ever told y'all this story or not, but uh, about 10 years ago, I think it was 2012, so maybe about 11 years now, <clears throat> it was uh, right about, about the, the beginning of the year, I want to say April, somewhere around there, uh, I uh, broke my back, yeah, like, uh, a couple of uh, my friends, we were, uh, you know, drinking, and uh, uh, my friend Patrick, he uh, recently bought a trampoline, or actually he just bought the trampoline, and uh, we were putting it together, and then uh, we all got on it and started jumping, and it was me, him, and his girlfriend, and uh, yeah, like, uh, we were having a good time, and, uh, you know, I, I thought everything was fine, and... Uh, I, you know, they double bounced me, and, uh, I was gonna cannonball, like, on my butt, and when I did, like, I guess the weight of all three of us pushed the trampoline, like, to the ground, so, yeah, like, my butt hit the ground, like, at that height, I would say, like, almost 20 feet in the air, and, uh, I mean, if not more, I don't know, I mean, I don't know how high I was, but it, it was pretty high. Um, but yeah, thinking about it to this day, like, it still hurts. Like, uh, I mean, cause you know how, like, when you land on your tailbone and it hurts? Yeah, like, magnify that by, like, five, ten times. I mean, whew. But anyway, yeah, like, cause at first, like, when I landed, I rolled around and I was like, ah! I was like, um, I was just, like, kind of, like, making noises and just, like, you know, kind of, like, I I don't know, it was like I couldn't breathe and stuff, and, uh, you know, my friend Patrick, he was like, you know, are you alright, man? I was like, yeah, give me a second, and then, uh, his girlfriend, I don't know what she did, I think she ran off or something, um, uh, yeah, he's like, he went inside and got some water or something, and I tried drinking it, and then, like, I don't know, for dramatic reasons or something, I think I spit it out or something, I was like, you know, just, you know, like, being dramatic or some shit. Uh, but then I was like, uh, like, after the pain kind of subsided a little bit, I, uh, tried climbing off the trampoline, and I noticed that, uh, I was having a real hard time, like, straightening up, and, uh, so I went and, and like, kind of just laid on their, like, kitchen, or their living room floor, and, uh, yeah, it wasn't feeling right, and, uh, my friend, he was like, do you need to go to the hospital? And, uh a part of me inside was like yeah yeah i need to go to the hospital so yeah he took me up there and you know they did the x-ray and uh the guy at first he was like oh, i don't know what's wrong and then uh the some indian doctor came back there and he was like what are you doing why are you laying down who said you could lay down and uh you know i, I was like i did it on my own and uh he like uh said I shouldn't be moving because I blew out 30% of my L2 and uh, he's like we can't help you here he's like we got to send you to Houston so yeah like they kind of rushed me in an ambulance and 
Left, I don't know how. I fell asleep during the, the ride, you know. Uh, my girlfriend at the time, she kind of came with me. And, because, uh, like, I called her and told her, like, hey, I'm up here at the hospital. And, uh, yeah, so she rode in the ambulance with us, or with me and uh, the paramedics. And, uh, yeah, they took us to Houston. And, uh, yeah, it seemed like I was in that hospital for, I don't know, maybe three weeks or so. And I didn't go to the bathroom the entire time. I mean, I did piss, but I wasn't about to shit in no bedpan. No, nah, fuck that. But yeah, uh, I will say, you know, they did give me plenty of, uh, like, drugs to, like, for, for the pain and stuff. And, uh, but yeah, like, I should have been in the hospital probably longer. Because, uh, like, I was kind of, I was just wanting to get back on my feet and get out of there. Uh, and you'd be surprised, like, after three weeks of being on your back. I mean, if not more, I don't remember exactly how long it was. But yeah, you actually, like, start to, uh lose the ability to walk and it's crazy because yeah like i remember like when i was trying to walk like it felt like i was a newborn or something and uh yeah i mean it was like some of the worst times of my life i mean the whole the main reason i uh wanted to get back on my feet was just to you know like i guess get back out there with you know my girlfriend and my friends and uh you know, at the time I was thinking, you know, this is nothing, you know, I'll be fine. But, yeah, here I am, you know, 11 years later, and, you know, this thing has really fucked my life up. Like, I mean, I went through a lot. I went through, like, you know, narcotic addiction, you know, like with the pain pills. Which, I'm still pissed at my doctor for, you know, not warning me about that. Like, I mean, I was naive. I, I had no idea that those things could do that to a person. I mean, seriously, like, lower tab addiction and all that, that is a very serious thing. I mean, you know, that is not something you ever want to fuck around with. I mean, people have wanted to commit suicide over that. But anyway, I, I don't want to bomb y'all out. You know, I just was wanting to say that, you know, the reason, yeah, like, I can't do construction work is because my back is fucked up. But anyway, stop the same thing. I can see it. And I can also see that you're not after my throat. Oh, well, yeah. Purchase it. I am Carly. I don't have any money. Goodbye. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's go kill some stuff. But yeah, I need to save up and, uh, because I don't know how many of y'all, uh, watch, uh, Carbot, or, or, yeah, it's Carbot Animations, and, uh, they, uh, have a witch call, it's, a, a plushie of, uh, ooh, a Lord Sworn Straight Sword. But yeah, there's a plushie of, uh, uh, Ronnie the Witch, and, uh, I really want it. Wait, why is this, uh, 14, and that one's 15? Because they're both D. This one's got a better critical. I guess I'll go with that. Damn. I'm so used to X being pickup. Drop a smithing stone. Yeah, there we go. Another. Ow, fuck. Drop another smithing stone. Damn. Is this the, uh, camera? If this is the one. Yeah, we need the torch. Oh wait, hang on, let me uh, change my uh, flasks. Let's see, because I don't need a magic one right now.
All right. Behold the cave. If I can, can I write messages? Like right now, without, I don't know if I have to pick up like the writing finger or whatever. Let's see. Um, okay, yeah, I can just write stuff. Let's see. Really? I thought uh, there would be, you know, like a bat on here. You never know, it could be around here somewhere. I can't believe uh, they don't have bat. I mean, what the hell? Is there... let's see... Mm. I guess I can do rats. I mean, it's kind of like a bat. Here we go. Praise the Rat Cave.
Hmm. Could do night cave. Nah. Ah, here we go. Praise the hero cave. Batman! Na 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 Batman! Get back here, you plump boar. Get back here. Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's see. How do I look without the... And... Uh, let me put my... Armor back on. That's the only gripe I really have with this game is like. I feel like, uh, for the female characters, they don't change the look of the armor enough. Because, I mean, if you look at that character from behind, like, it would- it can still look like a man in a way. Seeing, like, the shoulders are too broad. I wish you could get her cloak. That is a cool looking cloak. I offer you an accord. I need to look up like what's up with her eye? Like is it missing or is she Have blind in that eye the finger, or maidens? They serve the two fingers, offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. You don't have to rub it in. I can play the role of maiden. Turning runes into strength. To aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you. Done. To the foot of the Erd Tree. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You didn't say I had to drop you off somewhere. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Too bad, like, you can't put it on, like, you know, a ring ring. Use it to traverse great distances. Little Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Alright, that's enough. Let's see. We take that off. I usually always put the horse on the bottom one. Yeah. Keep an eye out for skulls. Here we go. Oh, wait. That's, uh, writing. Ah! Any skulls I can step on? Free rooms? Let's upgrade my sword. Bam. Wait. 
Why isn't, uh, what's her name here? This tiny golden aura is the grace of the earth tree. This light once shone in the eyes of your tarnished brethren, but now it is all that guides you. Or so I hear. You can see them, can't you? The rays of grace. Upon the cliff, in a demigod, if the rays of then the Elden as an ally pray to face the challenge. Where's my witch? Tell you what, let's teleport here. And then we'll grab the map and then teleport back and see if that works. You know what this reminds me of? Like with the, the whole like castle and the rain and the night. It reminds me of uh, Zelda uh, A Link to the Past. I never really got far in that game, but I did love the opening. Like, it just, it felt so good. I don't know, I guess the rain and the darkness and everything, it was just a really nice setting. Oh, did y'all ever see, uh, oh, I can't remember who put that video out, but, uh, it was like, um, Monty Python and the Holy Grail in Elden Ring. Oh, man, that was funny. Got something else to say? to me by my mother inside the earth tree long ago for the reason that I yet live burned and bodiless there is something for which I must apologize I've acted the finger maiden yet can offer no guidance I am no maiden my purpose was long ago lost Now let's try going back here. There this you way are. Tarnished. May I have a word? What's up, baby? A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. A pleasure is all mine. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call forth the spectral steed named Torrent. You heard right? Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee by Torrent's former master. Spirit calling bell. <laughs> Tis a bell for calling forth, summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree, the spirits will obey thine command but briefly. As they recall battles past, now it is thine to do with as thou wishest. I like how she follows you and you talk to her. Eh, trying to get a good look at her face. Let's see. Damn it. Stop turning your head. 
It's making it hard for me to get the camera right. Not working. I ain't no word. Just... I doubt we shall again meet. What? No, don't but leave. The same. Learn well the lands between. How long will it be, I wonder, before the tarnished tire of obeisance to the two fingers? No, 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 no. Try to sniff up the particles. How could she just leave? Wait, weren't you? Well, you're back. Let's see. I'll take the crafting kit. Damn, I don't have enough for the. What you call it? Let's see. Inventory. Use. There we go. What is it? I need that torch. Goodbye. Guess we can just teleport over there. Shiba da ba da do ba yeah yeah. Come on, bring it. Yeah, knife in the neck. Well, ow, ow, ow! Die, you wolf bastard! Ow! Said, die. Change the shield. Drink some of that delicious Estus. Counter. I think that was the lead wolf. He was a little tougher. Oh shit. Are you the runt? Cracked pot. I never use those things. I don't even know if they're any good. Oh, nice. Give me those silver fireflies. I can use those to make uh, silver foul feet. Foul tarnished. What's this say? Try jumping attacks. Be wary. Er, by the way, good luck. Try horseback battle. I don't think you can summon a horse in here. Strange foe ahead. Alright, where are you, rat man? One hand this bitch. Jedi style. Ow. Yeah, yeah. Get a load of this. Ow. Yeah, right through your neck.
Hmm. I don't think there's anything else of value in here. Well done. This is now the crab cave. Be wary of Crab Cave. I'm Crab Man. Funny the sound they make when they die. <laughs> oh, what bolts? I need what you call it? Some what? Uh, wait, why does it have a? See if there's a foul foot up there by my uh, stamina bar. What's that about? Why do I have a foul foot? Is it? Uh, Item or XP dis or extra? Is it extra item or XP? I wish it would say. That'd be nice. All right, come on, you bastards! to uh, put my wolves on. There we go. I'm Crab Man. Oh, 
Oh shit. Crap man, his missed body. What's this say? Could this be a treasure chest? It'd be a big one. Looks more like a coffin though. Crab ring. Actually, I should put on some of my crab rings or crab darts. Crab dart. Let's sneak up on this guy. Where Batman does or uh, doesn't kill, Crab Man does. I'm Crab Man. Damn it. Stop me from summoning my crab wolves. You want to do battle with the crab? Yeah. Missed. Oh fuck! They're ganging up on the crab. Ah, missed. Ooh, that was close. Got any goodies for me? Mm, I like my armor better. Okay. Come on, my crab wolves. My health hasn't regen or gotten some Estus from all the guys we've killed. Actually, before we go over there, let me go down in here and get that. Uh... Hey, by the way. Right. I need this wet stone. There we go. Crab attack. There we go. A flail. Do I have the ability to wield the flail? No. I need 18 dexterity.
me uh, look online and see if uh, it says anything about when the DLC for Elden Ring is supposed to drop. Probably doesn't have any, or there's probably no announcement yet. <clears throat> okay. The Elden Ring Shadow of the Erdtree DLC release date is expected late 2023 or early 2024. Uh, From Software has yet to confirm a launch date after the official announcement, and it is likely a while away with development only starting in the late 2022. Hmm. Well, I hope they put a lot of work into it and make it look awesome and shit. Some of the pictures look kind of cool. I mean, I don't know if that's really the picture for it or not. There's like a chick and she's like, uh, oh yeah, it's a torrent. And, uh, there's, like, a chick with, like, long blonde hair uh, riding him. Okay. Put my crab rings away. I guess, uh, let's head to, uh, the witch call it, uh, the, um, what's it called, uh, actually, no, before that, let's go, I'm trying to remember where I can get some magic. I think, uh, what's-her-name sells what I need, um, shit, I can't think of her name, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Where are you going? Stop running away. Meet your fate. Yeah. All right. I got a few errands to run. You there? Could you help us out, Cully? Can I run him over with the horse? Nope. You? Yeah, you that. No. You're all right. I just rolled into you. Oh yes. I remember. Some clock. You were just You're okay. I was pushed out and I ended up. In... Oh, when they threw me out of the cancer, this is all up my hope. Oh, I don't want your mushrooms. They're not. Right. Um... Right. Um... Alright. Go back to the cave and I'll help you eventually. I gotta take on this guy. Oh, you motherfucker. Oh, he killed my horse. Drink the Estus. Alright, coming around for another shot, huh? Whoa, he knocked my ass up, or knocked me on my, my ass. Yeah. Yeah, how do you like it? Gladiator style. Oh, didn't work. Ah, yeah, gotcha. Thanks for the gauntlets and the free health. You know, earlier I was uh, thinking about like this macaroni and cheese that uh, my mom used to make uh, whenever I was like, I don't know, maybe like 10 or so, somewhere in there. And, um, you know, for the life of me, I mean, we have like talked about it and she doesn't remember how to make it. And like, I mean, let me tell you something about this mac and cheese. It was really fucking good. Like, imagine mac and cheese, but... 
it's juicy and stringy at the same time. I mean, it had such a, a wonderful taste and texture. I mean, it wasn't like overly creamy like, uh, you know, baked mac and cheese. It wasn't, uh, what you call it, uh, kind of tasteless and juicy like, uh, you know, say like uh, a box of mac and cheese. It was like, it was homemade, but, and it had like elbow noodles, and somehow, like I said, like, it, the, the cheese was like almost kind of watery, juicy, but it had like a stringy texture to it as well. I mean, oh man, just thinking about it, it makes my mouth water. Like, I wish uh, we could figure out how to replicate it. It's like cold fusion or something, you know? It happened like maybe one or two times, but never again. I mean, it actually happened more than two times. It happened probably like, I don't know, five to ten, if not more. But yeah, it just seemed like maybe they stopped making the cheese that she put in it, or I don't know. There's a lot of things like that, like uh, from my youth that... You know, I hate, like, you know, it's like, why did they stop making that? Because it was so good. Like, I love the, those hero, uh, hero burgers or whatever they used to sell, uh, for Hunger Man dinner. I mean, damn, those things were good. It was basically like, you know, like, I mean, y'all know what a hero sandwich is. It was like that, but, you know, it was like, you know, a cheeseburger, and, uh, it had like two little patties in between uh, like a sub bun or whatever and uh, yeah it was really fucking good plus you know there was some really good uh, good food at my school like uh, I love the chicken nuggets and the burger and uh, they had this thing like but only like rich people could ever afford it because I was always poor in school and like I didn't have any money um, but yeah, like, uh, they had this thing called a steak burger, and, uh, also the chicken fried steak, I mean, that was pretty good, too. Everyone's been graphed, everyone. Yeah, graphed. yeah. Only I don't want to hear your sob story. You were willing to name me. You were not heading to storm. Enticed by all that mix. But I don't have you. It's scared. I want I'm nothing. I'm nothing. Why don't you take this? I'll take your jellyfish. Alright everybody, that's going to be it for this episode. We're coming up on 59 minutes, and uh, anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I was a lot more talkative this time, you know. Uh, I felt like I had a lot to say. Um, had a little bit of that good pumpkin spice coffee in me. Probably made me feel a little giddy. Not to mention the fact that, you know, thinking about how fall is right around the corner, that makes me happy. Anyways, uh, I guess that's it. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.